Morning everyone. So a few hours later, we're back at it again. Standard, nice big car. Uh, T6, another one in today, another T6.1 in. But this is having some kicker goodies, this one. So we're doing front speakers, dynamite in the doors, making some speaker pods. We're doing a kicker key onto the factory head unit so we can process the sound. Um, and uh, HS10 under the passenger seat. So it'll be like a mixed match of stuff. Lots of, lots of, not, not the most amount of equipment, should I say, but a lot of equipment in the right area. So processing, front speakers, tweeters, mid-range, and a sub. Uh, it will give the customer a really nice sound from something um, kind of, you know, like a not, a not a 20 speaker system. It doesn't need to be that. I'm a fan of simplicity. But that's today. Uh, we had a little bit of a frost last night. Got really cold all of a sudden. Woke up to a bit of ice on the car, but we're still rocking the shorts as standard. Need to get some breakfast, I'm hungry. I think we might do a McDonald's this morning, something nice and simple. Get the T6 other out, the grey one. Make sure the controller's coming on as it needs to. Got the other controller coming in this morning on a priority delivery. So that'll be with us nice and early. So I can kind of plug that in, make sure that's all set up with the system. And then that's it, really. Get it outside, get it ready to go back to Tony. Um, hopefully he's gonna love it. He should do. <clears throat> it's, there's many different things in life that people have, all right? Now, when everyone says to me, you know, what's the best stereo, what's the best this, what's the best that? There is really no way of saying what the best is, right? Everything is a, a, a compromise or a trade-off. And anyone that tells you different is either lying or they want your money. So, you either have things like an SPL system, which is level. It's not necessarily musically driven, but it's just loud, right? And then you've got point of reference, where it's not necessarily the loudest stereo, but you will hear every single note exactly at the same time, you know, the, the way it's supposed to be played you will hear like a perfect sound. That's point of reference. On from that, <clears throat> everything is then a mix in the middle. So you've either got, you know, a, a really nice loud stereo that will sound good, or you've got <clears throat> a really quiet stereo that will sound perfect. So there's a whole, there's a whole kind of, you can't really say to somebody, this stereo is the best, that stereo is the best. There's always a difference. And with the T6, it was more of a point of reference stereo with the Prima processing and the little amplifier and the speakers and the, the 10 that went in the boot to more of a SPL system where he can play it louder without killing amps. Uh, the bigger sub to, you know, to create more level, more bass, more mid, you know, all of that coming in. It just, it changes the whole thing. And it's hard to decipher from meeting a customer and, and speaking to them obviously what they want. You try and do your best, but sometimes you end up doing it a couple of times just to kind of iron out, not necessarily problems, but things that they may want. So they may want a little bit more bass or they may want a little bit more treble or they might want too much, you know, a, a, a treble turning off or turning down a bit so it's not so in your face. There's, many things you can do with a system with regards to tweaking it and you can't really say to somebody that this one is better than that one because they're different and it's down to personal preference more than anything I, I like the idea of the quad box and stuff like that and these base trucks that you see you know they're fun but to be honest like even the quad box which is 150 decibels out of the box you do not want to drive down the road with that thing on full chat because literally by the time you get to work your ears are hurting you're ringing can i get a sausage and egg muffin meal with a latte please
please? Can I have a sausage egg muffin meal with a latte, please? That's it, Tao. A sausage and egg muffin meal. Looks about right. Can I add on a cheesy flatbread as well, please? How much is that, love? 5.48. Keep the change. Put it in there. Cheers. Got to pay for these McDonald's houses for the kids and the families. Morning. Morning. Yeah, I'm hungry. I had to go back. <laughs> Thank you. Could you put a sugar in that for me? How many? Just one. Been Why? You don't always have time for this, sweetie. You have today. Extra okay, special just smiley. For you. Extra special smiley I'm face. Seat in the back. <laughs> Could you give me a good feedback then? Yeah, what's your name? Orshay. Uh, Orshay. Where are you from? Hungary. Oh, okay. I will do. Thank you. Then. Cheers. Orshay from Hungary. I'm hungry. It'll be. <laughs> yeah, so stereo wise, you can't really give a what's best of the best. There's good stuff and there's bad stuff, sure. Like the the trade off between having your car catch fire and a shit sounding stereo is definitely worth spending the extra on a pioneer. But do you need thousand pound front speakers? Only if you want to. To get a nice sound, you could spend as little as 140 quid for the front. You don't need to spend massive amounts of money. But we're gonna get off, eat some breakfast, and I will come back to you in a bow. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Morning everybody, how are we doing? So we're cracking on today, all the stuff's happening. Let's go and show you some bits first off. So the grey one's just about done. <clears throat> Lovely sunny day, we've got a new controller in there. Everything works well in this thing now, so it's just about ready to be picked up by tone. We've got our next one in, which is a black T6.1. So I've just started uh, sorting out the key. The sub is done, it's just there on a little plinth. And then I'm um, just sorting the wiring out for the key. It's got some Chinese camera in it interface, which is not the best, but never mind. Um, so we're taking the A pillars off. We've removed the factory tweeters and we're going to put in the kicker ones. So the kicker ones are just mounted in there, just started this side. And then we're going to run this in bi amp mode. So the rear output of the key is going to go to the door, which we're going to do after. And then the front output goes up to the tweeters. So it's like bridging the amp, giving it more of a, a stage. And then obviously the sub under this seat will do the base. And we'll try and get, I think the, if I can get one of these switch blanks out, we'll try and get the controller through the hole so it look, looks nice and neat and out of the way but that's it so far for this one i'm going to crack on and i will come back to you in a bit hey everybody so i've just fixed al's alexander his name is he's in his little uh kind of camper stroke 
God, what is it? It's like a Mazda bongo, but it's not. Oh, actually it is a bongo. Yes, it is a bongo. So he's just going, he managed to mess up his camera, but something's just turned up, which I'm totally, totally excited to show you. We're cracking on with this. <laughs> Look at the spaghetti junction. So we've got tweeters are in. I've just got to do the doors, put this section back together, then that's done. Obviously the sub under there is already done. We've got to program the key, but that does it itself. So it's not exactly a hard job. Um, I've taken the dash apart in, in precedent of putting the base controller just there. It's nice and neat and simple. Looks good. And obviously this tweet is done as well. We've got our microphone there ready for the key tuning. So I just need to make the power connections for the key, hide the key in the dash. We need to do something with a Chinese camera kit that somebody's fitted because the cables are just everywhere. So we will tune without the sub attached. We're going to do bi-amp mode. So front and rear obviously on the key to give us double the power, twice the uh, oomph. And look at this. Oh God, it's heavy. I can barely hold that with my hand. That was probably silly. Oh. Right, now we've been discussing something for a little while and I kid you not, it's coming. This is something I need for it. Christmas McDonald's receipts. Come on, you take your shit. So I found another audio company not far from me. Uh, Aylesbury Way. I think it's Tom. I want to say Crown Customs, so thank you, buddy. And he's sorted me out. It's always nice when car audio companies help each other out, regardless of the, you know, the competition or brand. It's just like we are all in the same boat, so it's nice to help each other out. But this is something I need. Oh my days. Can you guess what it is yet? out the way it smells good <laughs> so it's 200 amp hours of power the power us <laughs> so what this basically does oh it's another sticker what this basically does is this is going to give us almost like a car alternator running Jesus That's a big old unit, right? As you can tell from the outputs, right? It's up to 200 amp current draw. Sorry, 2000 amp peak, 200 amp current draw. So we can run our live earth and ignition office from this. Like if you're in a stadium, stadium hall and you're doing demos with your cars, you can't have your engine running because you'll fill the place with noxious chemicals. So they have this thing which is called the power us. Now, we are going to use this. Which is then going to feed this monster. You know what's coming. Which is then going to make the quad box rumble and bump. So this is for our I've solely bought that for this reason. It's cool to have it, but I've solely bought this for the quad box bump video. So all those people that were like, oh, your video shit, can shut the f up. This is gonna slap that quad box with power and we can do a bump video. And I can show you what it's capable of. Oh, happy, happy, heavy Jesus Christ days. Good old Paris, look at that. That's a unit. Four cooling fans. <laughs> Fucking O gauge. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Back in a bit. Hi everyone. Right, so Alex has been on Amazon again. <laughs> <laughs> He's bought another set of LED lights to match the four sets we've already got. We haven't got four sets. Because <laughs> he wants to do What's it called? Chasing or something? Yeah, it's called, well, yeah, it's, I guess it's called chasing. So Alex hasn't tried these before. Okay, so we have the first mode. It's 
just get out this thing. What's that one? That's a constant. Yeah, I think that was like constant white, maybe? The light blue. Right then. Alex is now going to display the chasing lights. Okay, no, we're, <gasps> going, to, we're going to go through the... Da, 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 it works! Oh, that was close. That works, mate. Let me just set yeah. this down. That's what we wanted. Oh God, he's happy now. That's it, I won't hear that. <laughs> So now you can get the kids to chase a colour. Yeah, but look, how cool is that? Right? Yeah, okay. That's one mode. And the speed. You can adjust the speed, can you? Yeah, look. <gasps> yeah, ripples, getting Man. ripples. That's the one. Okay, everyone, so the Swindon Roller Disco <laughs> <laughs> is opening Sunday afternoon. Tickets only £5. <laughs> That's amazing. That's what we wanted. Oh, the girls are going to be so happy. Aren't they? Yes. Yeah, get, oh, them, get them to chase a colour. Say, go up. Hey? Get them to chase a colour. Blue, yeah. green. Look at that. Okay, everyone, so I was hoping. You were hoping <laughs> was it was going to be a disappointment. <laughs> and in actual fact, this is what we wanted. Isn't it, Christoph? <laughs> I have to admit it, yes. Huh? Admit it. <laughs> so... That's the shit. Look, it's like I've got a massive day glow penis. <laughs> okay, so Alex just lowers the tone again. <laughs> <laughs> and this will be part of the... Did you get any build videos today? You didn't, did you really? Oh, mate, didn't I, do that black I, one? Didn't no, do the T6? I, I've, I've taken some videos, but I've been flat on it today, getting it all sorted. Right, what else we got on here? What else mode? You can switch the camera off with being children. See you later everyone. Bye. My dudes, I apologize if I've been a bit AWOL today, but I had lots to get done and I just needed to crack on and get it finished. Um, got the T6 that we did last night picked up. Um, I'm a bit, Bit confused by the customer's son's comments as to he said that there's not enough bass in the vehicle. Uh, if I'm honest, music is not bass heavy. But it goes back to how we were discussing about, you know, individual setup and things like that. That there's many different ways to set up a stereo, like there's many different brands to listen to. So, you know, how he has his music is his prerogative. Um, but there certainly was enough bass coming out of that Hertz ported box but I prefer more like a musical listening than just bass because just bass is not music uh, and that's probably how the system got blown up in the first place um, by that response it kind of makes me think that it was um, overdriven so it was more of a point of reference system. So to hear everything perfectly and nice and clear and staged, as opposed to just knocking the shit out of some sub. So that would probably explain how the first system blew up and got deaded. Was that it was overdriven within an inch of its life and then promptly shat itself. The 600 is a more capable amplifier more powerful and that sub will certainly take more tweaking so i've basically given him the bit disc and said look crack on you want to retune it yourself that's fine so he's going to have a go at getting the stereo how he wants to or how jake wants to his son but you know there's there is too much bass in 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 setting up some songs and music i think that's audible he doesn't that's fine um, so we're done for today. Black one got picked up. That was for a guy's birthday present. Um, so he's super, super happy over the moon with that one as well. I'm leaving the mess. I'm not picking it up. I'll do it tomorrow when I've got a bit of time. Uh, but yes, see ya in the morn. You told me you had subscribed to ASC Audio and now you've missed an episode.